All right, this is a repair video for a 2007 Ford E450. It's an RV. While checking the transmission fluid level, I noticed rust on the dipstick and metal flakes coming from the dipstick tube. After doing a little reading online, I found this to be a common problem. Now, the last thing I want is metal flakes falling into the transmission every time I check the fluid, so this is how I uh, cleaned it out. First thing you got to do is uh, go inside the vehicle, disconnect this engine cover. It's got four uh, clamps here. This will give you access to the inner part of the tube that you need to remove. So that covers just uh, clamps onto these catches, these metal catches here, two on each side. And then you can see uh, in here where the upper tube you know, mounts into the, the lower tube, there's just an O-ring, it just presses in to fit. So to get that out we need to remove uh, two 10 millimeter nuts. And you can see the first one here. I've already got it disconnected here. It's a bit out of focus there. And the second one is uh, down there. It's best uh, to get at it from the other side. So back under the hood there, the nut actually is, you can see it down there just on the right. Uh, it would be pretty hard to get at without removing the air cleaner. So the air cleaner is really easy. You just remove this clamp there and there's two little plastic clips. And you should be able to just pop that out without any tools. And setting that aside, you should be able to reach into that 10 millimeter nut. See if I can show you exactly where that is here. Right there, right there. I should be able to reach in, put a ratchet on that, and spin that off. And that's the second one to remove, and then. You should have it. Uh, should have the tube free after that to pull out. And I tried pulling it out from the engine uh, engine side, but I found I don't think you can get it out that way. So back from the inside of the vehicle, uh, you should be able to pop that upper tube out from the lower tube. There, you can already see some of the rust that's just even right there. And then there's one electrical connector that you need to remove. This is a little thumb tab you need to depress and you should be able to pull that apart. You can see that thumb uh, tab there is just on the lower the lower piece of that electrical connector. And with that out of the way, you should be able to just rotate the tube uh, clockwise, bring that bottom part up towards yourself, and then you should be able to thread the tube out uh, from the engine there. There you go. You should be able to see there the plastic clamp and the two metal brackets. So now I want to show you uh, what, what I went to all this trouble for. You can see on the dipstick tube here down at the end, every time I pulled this out I had this kind of rusted metal filings or flakes or just gunk on there. I'm no, no transmission expert but I'm pretty sure you don't want that falling down into the transmission every time you check it. So I need to clean out the tube. I want to clean out the inside of the tube. You can see I also had about three inches of rust on the dipstick itself. So just sprayed the whole tube down with some uh, WD-40. Get some steel wool and wipe that down just to clean up. Clean off the dipstick there. Now that that's clean, I'm going to pass it through the dipstick tube again. Just see if I can show you a little more clearly what I was picking up.
I don't know if the angle was a little different. This time that I put it down, it didn't pick up the same uh, amount of filings and things that it did when it was on the vehicle. This time mostly is just getting generally dirty. But it wasn't picking up those black filings like it was every time. It's probably just the angle that it was. So what I did was I sprayed some uh, WD-40 into the tube uh, itself and you'll see like what's coming out now and that's that's really what was concerning me having that on the on the dipstick every time I pulled it out so I got some J cloth and just wrapped it around the end of the the dipstick and then just passing it through uh, I passed that through a whole bunch of times before it started to get any better uh, but you can see these gritty pieces of metal that are just hanging out in the dipstick tube. So just wrap that up and keep on uh, pushing that through there. And I don't know how many times I passed it through. Probably 10 or 12 times. Just kept on rewrapping it. And it got cleaner every time, but thing is I don't know why that stuff's forming in there whether there's uh it's not a good seal at the top of the dipstick tube there and condensation is forming and it's rusting the interior I don't know anyways uh once that's clean putting it back in is real simple just put those 10 millimeter nuts back on electrical connector back together and you can see uh made a huge difference coming out. I don't have anything on that except fluid which is really what you'd expect. Uh, so anyways if you have the same problem hope this video helps you out on on uh, what you can do about it.